In this lesson, we are going to study about closures in Rust. Closure refers to a function within another function. So till now we have been uh, working with some function. But now uh, let's say we have an outer function. And within that we define another function. And uh, these are anonymous function and can be assigned to a variable. So we can have a variable like let x and then we have the function body and how we define it uh, we use two vertical lines and then this curly brace as usual when we are defining a function and then whatever is the logic inside this and uh, this allows a program to pass a function as a parameter to other functions because we can assign it to a variable and these are also known as inline functions and variables in the outer function can be accessed by the inline function so if we have a variable let's say var1 here then we inside the logic inside the body of this uh, anonymous function closure we can access this var1 because it was defined in the outer function so let's see how we can define a closure Closure is defined with a pair of vertical pipes inside which we can also pass the parameters if required. So uh, in this case we can have let cf equal to then this pipe and the function body and if we have one parameter we will pass it as like this let's say parameter is p1 if we have more than one parameter we will or do the same thing but separated by comma so it will be p1 comma p2 and so on depending on the number of parameters so this is how we define a closure and uh, this uh, this was chosen because of uh, the existing definition of closures in some other languages like a small tag small talk and ruby so that's why rust chose to uh, use this symbol for defining closures and the syntax invoking a closure implements fn traits so it can be invoked with this uh, parenthesis syntax so once we have defined let's say a closure and assigned it to a variable cf and let's say it takes just one parameter then for invoking it we can call it as cf and then pass one parameter so let's see an example of this in the code and it will be even more clear so we have this outer function here it's main it can be any other function also so first let's define a closure which will return whether a given number is odd or not and we will assign it to a variable is close is odd and it expects one parameter one number which we will check for uh, whether it is even or odd so we will pass a variable x and now it just needs to return whether x mod 2 is 1 or not so if it's 1 then it's odd otherwise it's not so we will simply return now let's call this function disclosure on a value let's say our number is 15 and let's see what it says so it will return true or false and you can see here also it has the id has deduce that this will return a bool and in this case 15 is odd so it should return true so it says 15 is odd is true now let's test this for an even number let's say 10 in this case it's false so it works as expected 
now let's uh, see an example of where it can access the variable in the outer function so let's say so this is a num in the outer function mean so now let's define another closer and assign it to a variable add num so this will simply take this number and add 10 to it So it will take uh, this number x and add this num to it, not 10 to it, num to it, because we want to access the value of this variable. So it will simply return x plus num. And you, you see this num is in the, not within the scope of this disclosure, but in the outer scope. Let's say we have another variable num2 and we have 50 here. So we are passing this num2 that is 50 to this closer. So this x is 50 and it will add num which is defined in the outer function to it. So 50 plus 10 is 60. So this should print 60. So let's run it. So as expected it prints 60. Uh, let's take another example and in this case we will not pass any parameter just to check that it works let's name it no param let's say it returns 100 Let's run it again. So it correctly returns 100. Similarly, uh, let's say we have two parameters x and y and it simply sums them. So let's keep it there. Let's create a new closure. Name it sum x, y and it returns x plus y and and let's put some value 10 and 15 equal to So we see that it correctly calculates 25. So we have seen how we can, what are closures in Rust, how we can define it, how we can uh, create a closure without any parameter, with single parameter, and with multiple parameters. And we have also seen that a closure can access the values, the value of the variables defined in the outer function.